Yo. Look at the upper arm. The shoulder, the tricep. That looks pretty good. I like that. I like that a lot. Now, the reason I'm talking about that is because <laughs> even though I know better, uh, I'd be getting a little frustrated with the number on the scale. It's not moving as much as I'd like. Now check out the legs. Damn. That is nice. That is sliced up. I like that a lot. So I just wanted to point out, be careful when using the scale as your only metric because that may not tell the whole story. <laughs> uh, if you're wondering what I'm doing here, I'm experimenting with using a crate that I have uh, as a way of of um, training the depth on my squat. You know, um, in powerlifting, you have to get your hip below your knee, and you don't get extra points for going any deeper. However, going deeper can make it harder. You know, so what I want to do is have something there to, um, you know, give me feedback when I'm training so I can get a sense of, you know, how long of a descent do I need before I'm actually, you know, legal, but not, you know, too low that I'm hurting. So, like I said, be careful when using just the scale, because uh, <laughs> um, it may not tell the whole story. I'm probably going to have to use that with a phone book right there, because that's a little too deep, but the other two setups were not quite deep enough. I'm out!